Hi everyone, Nick Kratikos of Nick's Seasonal Decor, and tonight you're watching in Bodabra, and about 0.5 seconds ago, right <laughs> as soon as my dad clicked the live button, he looked at me and said, nice hairdo. <laughs> so with that being said, I'm sure we are going to have a great night uh, tonight, and we have lots of things to be making. We have lots of bows, we also are going to be creating a small, uh, kind of St. Patrick's Day themed wreath with some tulips it might just be like an everyday monochromatic design as well uh but while i pull up the video dad is going to show off the two tools uh that we're going to be using here we have our large bodabra um and this is what it looks like it does come with a wand if we're going to be honest dad how often do i use this wand? very rarely very rarely so one thing about using any kind of tool not necessarily bo just bodabra any tool in life you're going to have to kind of figure out what works best for your hands uh we also have our bodabra wire and I'm just trying to pull up the video, but while we do that, I want to show you guys another thing. This is the mini Bodabra. And tell me that's not that's cute the cutest as a thing. How cute is that thing? Um, I'm a big fan of that. We also have, here's the tulips in case you want to look at those. How pretty are those too? So we've, this has been the week of tulips and I've been loving it. I think they're so pretty. Uh, so that's what we're going to be using. And don't forget, the Bodabra wire comes in gold and silver it does. in 100-yard spools. Yeah, so 300 feet, you guys. So, yeah, Dad made fun of my hair. Can you believe it? I mean, I don't blame him, but that's okay. Uh, so what should we start with, Dad? Valentine's Day? Yeah. Probably. Valentine's yeah. Day is right around the corner. Yeah. next week. So I thought we used one of these colors before. I'm pretty sure it's this one because it's kind of empty this one's brand new uh but i thought today we would kind of kind of combine both of them together wouldn't that I look, think it'd cool? look nice yeah so we're gonna do the red and white and we're gonna do what kind of bow do you want to see us make tonight dad uh funky Why valentine's day it's too funky always will say funky you guys so we're just gonna cut a length of our wire i always encourage you to cut it a little bit longer than you anticipate on using it uh it just makes it easier to take out and you know god forbid your wire's too short you know you have to cut a whole other piece so we're going to take out our wand. We're going to take our wire. See the little slit on the top? We're just going to place that right through the middle. Hi, everyone. Hi, Nelda. Thank you, honey. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. So right off the bat, if you guys don't mind, comment down below. We would appreciate it. Uh, we are uh, doing a giveaway with Bodabra tonight. So Bodabra is giving away one lucky roll of ribbon to one lucky winner. So all you have to do is comment down below you'd like to win. And who knows? You might be the lucky, lucky winner for tonight, right? Yep. So... You know, each week, everybody always says, I never expected to win. And that's usually how it goes, Yeah, that's right? how it goes. And then you win. And then you win. So we're going to just cut about six to eight inch tails on either side with about a three and a half, four inch loop. And I see we're already on almost at 250. So thank you guys for that. Keep those likes and shares coming. And if you enjoy seeing me here on Bodabra, definitely let us know. Uh, your words of encouragement and support definitely push us to continue doing lots and lots of these videos. So dad, we're gonna use these both of these ribbons. So we gotta do the other one now. So this one is the white with the red hearts and the other one is the red with the white hearts. So we're gonna take this one loop, kind of like the awareness ribbon, right? Yep. One loop, two tails. Since we have one loop on this side, two tails on this side, we're going to reverse it now. Suzanne would love to win. Awesome, Suzanne. This is going to be a pretty bow, Deb. I don't know why we haven't done this before. Maybe we have. Who knows? Who knows? Come back in with the red, with the white. And it's all about just reversing it. So now I'm going to place this piece here. And we should do, let's do three of each. That way we have kind of a nice full bow. Uh, so often I get asked, what do I do with these bows afterwards? And, you know, truth be told, we could absolutely sell them. We always create nice bows here on Bodabra. Uh, but more often than not, actually not more often than not, always what we end up doing is just giving them to uh, our customers that order wreaths from our Etsy shop. Um, so, you know, as a little thank you token, this has got to go this way. As a little thank you, we always just send out the bows. So we always try to make sure we do pretty bows here. Yep, and we just pack them in the box along with the wreath. Not we, you. Me. <laughs> Dad is my go-to shipper, and he is going to be doing a video on that real soon uh, for our exclusive wreath community. They've been so excited to see it. So, Dad, we got to get a move on that. Yep. We already filmed one, so now you got to do a centerpiece version. But now we're going to take our final piece of this white and do our final piece. And then, did we do two? We did two of the red. So now we got to do one more of the red after this. So here's our final piece of this. And now we'll finish it off with one more piece of that. So I see we're at almost 400 viewers. Thank you, guys. All right, our final piece. So how quick was that? That was we're quick, yeah. Minute and a half, two minutes to make a bow. Well, we're not done yet, so I don't want to sit there and jinx myself. But now what I do is I just compress my ribbons with my hands. You could also take your little wand. Yep. Right? You can use the wand. Inside. 
So I never, down. I never add enough loops where this, you know, really becomes useful to me. But if you create huge that tree toppers ribbon, yeah. uh, or just massive bows in general, even car bows, that tool might be useful. But we're going to take this, place it in the middle, take the wire, pull it in the middle. And now our bow is secured. So if the door bell rings, you can walk away from it and it's not going to fall apart. Does not mean it's secured. Uh, so now we got to take our wires to the back and tie it. So uh, if you guys are interested in any of Bodabra's products, you guys can order through my affiliate link in the comment section. Uh, Bodabra will be sharing the link. Uh, it's actually pinned, so you can check out the pinned link and order your Bodabra, whether it's the mini. We're gonna, let's create a little bow too with the mini. Uh, whether it's the mini, the large, the wire, the ribbon kits are awesome too. We worked with that a lot at Christmas time. But now we're dovetailing, and this is one of the most important steps, isn't it, Dan? Yep. Everybody wants to win. That's awesome. Awesome, you guys. Yes, let us know. All you have to do is comment down below. No strings attached. You know, just drop a comment and you could be entered to win. Not could be. You would be. Would be. <laughs> All right. So we did one side. This is why I like doing these bows, Dad, because we always seem to miss one or two tails. But when I kind of do it on one side and the other, it makes it a lot easier. So we're not as forgetful with our tails. You always miss one. I, I know. always miss one. <laughs> I think we're good today, Dad. I think we're good. So I see we're at almost 500 viewers now. Thank you guys so much for all of the support. Hey guys, hope you had a great weekend. I have learned so much from your videos. Well, thank you, Barbara. We love to hear that. Uh, so here's the bow. How's it look to you so far, Deb? It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay at best. Now we're going to take it from okay to beautiful. And, you know, it's all about the fluffing, you guys. So once you've created your bow, um, the best thing you can do is spend a couple minutes really pulling all those tails fluffing everything out, bringing things from one side to the other, making sure it's looking as nice as possible. Um, I always spend a couple of minutes when I take pictures of my designs to really make sure that the bow is the best it can be because, you know, pictures last a lifetime. But we're we're just making bows, not focusing on pictures today. I love those two ribbons together, Nick. Those look great, don't they? I think those look great. What do you guys think of that bow? It's awesome. Very simple. That wasn't hard at all, was it, Deb? No. Very simple. You guys can do this with any ribbon um, for any holiday, any season. This is called a funky bow, and we did three loops of each uh, you know, piece of ribbon. So six loops total, 12 tails, since we have six, yes, right? Yeah. 12 tails. Uh, and the loops are about three and a half, four inches or so. They're not all even. Tails are anywhere from six to eight and a half inches. So that's the bow that you get with this. Now, Rose loves it. Thank you, Rose. Well, hello, D. Thank you for tuning in. Now, I really want to do a gingham. So when I think of spring and summer, I think of one print in particular, Dad. I think of gingham, whether it's, you know, any color. Any color, just a design, yeah. But when I think of summer, what do I think of when I think of gingham? What color? Yellow? Yeah. <laughs> That's what you're showing. What kind of print is this usually on? Outdoors, hot summer day. Picnic table. Picnic Dad. table. My God, Picnic I couldn't think tables. of that. That's right. So, you're right. I think of the red. And the red. Yeah. I love the red it with them. like geraniums and stuff like that because it just screams summer to me. Uh, but today, since we're doing spring, we are going to be doing a yellow version. So for this bow, Dad, I think we're going to do a traditional bow and then we're going to do our wreath after this. So stick around. Um, let's cut our tails. I like to cut them longer. Just make, make a more bigger statement, if you will. So take your tails before you forget like I always do, place them in first. You could place them in after. I mean, who really cares, you guys? Things will turn out just the, just the same, just as fine. Speaking of summer, I can't wait till spring gets here. We've got more snow coming tomorrow. I know, you guys. We got like six inches yesterday. We're getting another five. Four, four to, to six tomorrow. Four to six tomorrow. More Sunday. More Sunday. You know, I'm already sick of the snow, and it's not going anywhere, that's for sure. So all we're doing is just creating loops I don't measure them, you guys. If you want to, these are about four and a half inches. Uh, I think if you measure things, it makes your you know stress levels go up when you're sitting there trying to be perfect. It'll it'll still turn out just as nice if you don't measure. You know, with wired ribbon, you can kind of manipulate it. So let's say this loop is too big. All you have to do is just push it in a little bit or extend it out. So let's do four or five of these on either side. Yes, I enjoyed the Super Bowl. It was a great great game. So Donna asks, are you giving away a Bodabra or ribbon or both? Just got on. So Donna, uh, today Bodabra is giving away a free roll of ribbon. But hands up right now, as well as drop a comment, if you guys would like to see a Bodabra giveaway. Um, you know, that would be that would be something that would be very fun. We should do a giveaway for the Bodabra one day. Uh, so if that's something you guys would like to see, definitely let us know, and it'll just kind of push us to do it. So we did four loops on this side, four loops on that side. That should be enough, so I'm just going to snip it off. Always leave a little bit of an overhang. 
in case you know, you know your wire's not tight enough. Take your wire, since we folded them in half, we're gonna have one loop and then two tails. All we're gonna do is just pull that through. Now it's not secured, but it's not going anywhere for the time being. Now we're gonna pull it tight, bring the wires to the back. Do you travel about in your town during this snow? So, um, you know, during the day, the roads are fine, but at night, you know, it's a little scary, you guys, with the ice. Uh, but we live in a little tiny town in Massachusetts. Not much to do to go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, we don't, we have, it's a one-stop light town here. Uh, but I love it. I wouldn't have it any other way. I am a huge fan of my town. You know, growing up, lots of my friends couldn't wait to leave. I could live in my little small town for the rest of my life, Dad. I love, I love it here, yeah. I rally that much. So, there is the traditional bow. What do you guys think of that? Love that ribbon, too. So... They are saying that they would like to see a Bodabra uh, being given away sometime soon. So maybe we can do that in the near future, since you guys seem to have interest in that. So I did less loops because spring, I like things to be a little bit more airy, not as congested and full. Uh, that way we can take flowers and stick them back into the bow. But now we're going to actually create the wreath bow. So uh, the color I wanted to use for that, since we have the uh, green tulips, is I wanted to work in... This. Some green, yeah. So we're going to do two different bows using this. That way, you know, we can choose which one we want to use more. So I'm going to do one with tails, and then we'll do a traditional uh, do a traditional one first, and then come back in with the funky. How's that sound, Dad? Sounds good. So you can choose which one you want. Dad, this will be your wreath. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take our wires, place them into the Bodabra. Yes, so Bodabra does have a fan gallery, and you guys should definitely join it. Uh, it's a group. And, you know, check out Bodabra's page, too. Be sure to like and follow both Bodabra as well as Nick's Seasonal Decor. Uh, but Bodabra also has tons and tons of tutorials showing you guys how to, you know, work and operate your Bodabra. Um, you know, I know that my tutorials might not work for everybody. I'm fully aware of that. We all learn kind of differently. Uh, so the nice thing about Bodabra is that they have a wide assortment, including the very own creator and owner of Bodabra, Sandy. She has plenty of tutorials out there that you guys can check out. So now we're going to do a traditional bow. I don't want the loops to be too big since we're dealing with a 14 inch wreath frame. So these loops are going to be about, what, three and a half, four inches max. Don't want to do it much larger than that. And again, we're going to keep this bow nice and airy. Not going to add too many loops. Do you have to use wired ribbon, Nick? Um, you don't have to. But suggested, right? It's suggested. Yeah. You don't have to be using wired ribbon. Uh, but I definitely highly encourage it. I don't use anything but wired ribbon for my artificial designs. Uh, but since I'm also a florist, we do occasionally, you know, we haven't done much fresh floral work just because this stuff keeps me very, very busy, you guys. Uh, but when we do do fresh work, um, I do like using non-wired satin ribbons for that. So... Hi, Jen from Ohio. Hey, Jen. Snip off our final tail. Looks like we have... Linda says I'd love to win the ribbon. Awesome, Linda. We have three on one side, four on the other, and that should be A-OK -okay as well. So you don't have to be super perfect. If you place four on one side, does not mean you have to place four on the other side. You could place five. You could place three. Who cares? Watching from West Virginia. Welcome, Linda. Hello, Izzy. Yes, Sherry, sorry to hear you're getting more snow. Thank you for your sympathy. Uh, it's much needed here because I am already dreading it. You guys know that. Uh, but we're going to come back in with our funky bow. And then who's excited to see this wreath we're going to create? Should be pretty simple. We've done this. We did one this morning um, for Home Talk. You guys are going to see that in, the few, in a few weeks. We did a large version. We're using three different colors. It's really pretty. We posted a pre-recorded video on Nick's Seasonal Decor the other day, and tonight we're doing a version on Bodabra. And simply and solely because that wreath, the tulip wreath, Dad, is so popular. Everybody really? goes crazy over it. Um, and there's so many different colors. So if you hate green... He has millions of colors, yeah. If you hate green, who cares? They have purple. If you hate purple, they have orange. If you hate orange, they have every other color imaginable. Uh, so there's, there's a tulip out there for everyone. So now we're just cutting lengths of ribbon. We're creating... Thank you guys for over 500. One loop on one side, two tails on the other. And if you're just tuning in, again, Bodabra is giving away a free roll of scrunchie ribbon tonight. Yeah. Um, and if you missed our little intro, can you guys all give Dad a little crap for making fun of my hair right before... He clicked the button to go live, I heard it, and then he made fun of me, so... I clicked the button and I said, nice hair. Yeah, nice hair, and then he's like, go. So that's how tonight started. But let's do... Why not have some fun, guys, right? Right? Let's do four or five on, on this one. Make it a little bit fuller. Okay. I love this green. It's like a fresh, fresh colored green. 
Come back in with another loop. Okay. And then do one more dead, or do you think that's enough? Let's do one more. Yeah, do one I'm more. I'm going to ask for your opinion, but we're going to add one more anyway. Okay, our final loop with tails will place right here. And that should do it. Uh, now we're going to take our wires, bring them to the middle, and tie it tightly, or just pull it. This is a slip knot down. Not like we, we took Boy Scouts or anything and <laughs> know any of that stuff, but that, I believe, is a slip knot. I'm not 100% positive. But now we're going to tie it off and make sure that this bow does not fall apart. Because uh, what a shame that would be. Imagine ordering a wreath from somebody and then all of a sudden you get it, and then a week later the bow falls, uh, the bow falls apart. You know, I think if you do work in a bow in a design, which it's not necessary for everything, but if you do have it inside of a design, make sure that it's secure and make sure it's not going to fall apart. Good job, Dad Ello. Everybody likes me making fun of you, Nick. Oh, okay. Thanks, you guys. You guys should be a fly on the wall here. We always make fun of each other. Yes, it's really it's a lively household. Yes. <laughs> that's what we're known for. All right. We got three, four tails left, Dad. So we want to make sure we do all of these. And then we're going to create a very simple wreath with you guys. So we didn't prep any of the materials. We're going to actually show you guys step by step how to create kind of a very pretty wreath, which I don't think we've you know, really done up to this point. We've done simple ones. And this one's going to be simple. So I'm not going to say it's complex, uh, but it's going to be... Very pretty, or hopefully. All right, there's our bow. I'm not even gonna fluff this at this point because we gotta make a wreath. So I have these white tulips, and then I, these are kind of an ivory. So they do have a bright white tulip at uh, Michael's, but I chose the kind of softer white, especially since I photograph against a white wall. I wanna make sure that you know the flowers can be seen. So we're gonna take these, we're gonna snip off each flower, and we're gonna break down, let's do three or four to start off with, and then we can come back in with more if need be. Now I'd rather have leftovers attached on the bush then have a bunch of pieces cut lying around my table suzanne if he makes another i think he probably will make another ribbon uh, i mean another um yeah a uh, bow i'll get a close-up at the slip knot at the end for you then yes all we do is just pull it so when you fold the wire over one side's going to be wrapped around the other side's going to have two loose ends just put one through the other doesn't matter which way yep. and you should be good to go it's not that hard but we will show you we're definitely going to create another bow so Allison says, hi, Nick and Dad. I'd love to win some ribbon. Gotta say, this bow maker is awesome. I definitely need to look into getting one. Awesome. So yeah, like I said earlier, Bodabra has shared the link down below, and they will probably pin the link again uh, so you guys can go purchase uh, through my link, which I would appreciate. But now we're dealing with a 14-inch wreath frame. So we sold one of these that was yellow the other day, and I'm looking at it because I wanted to take a couple more pictures, and I love the yellow. Uh, so as I said, if you don't like the color I'm using tonight, feel free to mix it up. You don't have to be doing exactly what I do. Okay. I know Nick has not used the mini Bordabra yet tonight, no? Not yet. Yep, we're gonna, we still have some time, you guys. This wreath won't take us too long. But I do want to make sure to do something kind of fancy every now and then for you guys. So we're just, see how kind of far apart we're placing them to start off with that? I don't want them to be super close. I think it's better to have them a good distance apart. That way you're not wasting material. So for example, if we only purchased like six of these bushes and we kind of got really heavy handed, what if we didn't have enough? You'd have to go to the store again. And I hate doing that more than anything, you guys. Uh, I used to be like that. I got that from Yaya because Yaya saying still to this day is buy one, try it. And then if you want more, you can come back. I don't want to come back. If I come back, I'm going to be spending more money than I anticipated on, you know, spending, which happened today, dad. Sorry. I don't know if you <laughs> saw me, uh, but I brought like 10 bags in. Oh, so. oh I'm afraid to look at the yes. bill. So, um, you know, just grab a couple extras or kind of be sparing to start off with. And you can always add more in if you need it. Where do you get your grapevine wreaths? So you can get them honestly from anywhere. So We've been only, buying from everywhere too, yeah. Yeah, so if you only want to, you know, design a wreath here and there, I definitely recommend going to like Michael's or Hobby Lobby using a coupon and purchasing your, your wreath frames that way. Uh, this is a 14-inch wreath frame, one of my favorite sizes. Uh, and one of, The reason it's one of my favorites is also because it fits everywhere. You know, the big wreaths are beautiful and obviously they look great on the front door. But if you want something for the interior of your home, I don't necessarily want to do things on such a grand scale. I like my reeds and designs to be a little bit, what's the word, Dad? In, inconspicuous? Is that the right yeah. word I'm trying to look for? Uh, you know, I don't want them to be in your face. That's the kind of designer I am. So Beverly asked, do I do the hair bows? So Beverly, I do not do hair bows. Uh, I haven't attempted it. I probably will never attempt it. That's just something that I don't think I can do. Um, but Sandy, the creator and owner of Bodabra, has done plenty of videos, and she continues doing plenty of videos. 
teaching you guys how to make hair bows. So when we use the mini bow dabber, we'll just create a, a smaller bow that we could add to a wreath or a centerpiece or a swag or something along those lines. But what do you think the best scissors is to use, Nick? Scissors? Yeah. I mean, honestly, you guys know me with my gadgets. I used Betty Crocker scissors for years and years and years, and those were a dollar from the dollar store. Uh, you know, since we do so many projects now, I love the brand Fiskars, and yeah. obviously this video is not sponsored by Fiskars. Uh, but you know, anything, anything that cuts, basically, anything that cuts uh, and has a good lifespan, or if it doesn't have a lifespan, if you're spending a dollar and throwing it out every two, three months, you know, that's okay. All right, so we've added our white. Now we're going to come back in with our green. So just snip. And we're going to do a second brush. And I see we're at over 520 people. Keep those likes and shares coming, you guys. Let's see if we can hit 600 viewers. All right, so one thing I hate about shopping anywhere is these tags. These tags are the worst things. I have nightmares of getting these tags off, you guys, because they just stay no matter what I do. So now let's work in some of the green. Are you going to do a springtime daffodil wreath, Nick? Uh, we did one in Nick's exclusive wreath community. I'd say two weeks. It wasn't a wreath, but it was a, a centerpiece. A centerpiece? With some daffodils, some tulips, some spring flowering bulbs, uh, lilacs. We even incorporated lilacs, which I'm a huge fan of. Um, so, you know, we have so many projects that we try to do that, you know, by the, you know, if you guys ask for a specific flower, chances are pretty high that we probably worked with it at this point in time. Uh, all you have to do is just type it in, you know, mix seasonal decor, daffodil, or so be it, you know. Let's see. Could you mix tulips and daffodils? Absolutely. So the reason these tulip reeds work so well is because they're all kind of the same shape and it just looks like you know, like a, a boxwood wreath or, you know, when we decorate at Christmas time, we do tons and tons of fresh Fraser fir or balsam fir. It just has a uniform, clean look to it. So mixing daffodils in, if you're able to find kind of miniature daffodils, I definitely would recommend that. Uh, but you could also, I mean, honestly, you guys, there's no right or wrong way to make a wreath. As long as you love it, who cares what else anybody has to say about it? Right, Dad? Who yep. cares? This is a 14-inch wreath frame. Yes, 14-inch. One of my favorite sizes. So that's another question we can answer, too. What size wreath frames do we use? So, you know, we use 14-inch and we use 18-inch. Those primarily are the two that we use. I don't really stray too far away from that. Occasionally, you'll see me work with a oval wreath, but not too... I mean, we did ship one oval one this morning, uh, but, you know, that's kind of far and few in between. These two sizes are my go-to. I've seen a lot of sizes lately when I've been looking, Nick, like 8-inch and 6-inch. But what can you do with those? Really? Those are really small. So really small, right? You know, these, these are 14-inch frames. But if you got, let's say, like a 10-inch wreath frame, it doesn't look like what you see here. Yeah. Uh, but 10 inches, you know, it's... it's Small, yeah. It's to scale. So think of the width of this and then kind of drastically reduce it. So I don't really recommend anything less than 14 inches uh, because that's this is what you get with a 14-inch frame. And what do you guys think of that? Doesn't it look pretty? Now we're going to work in our bow dad. So we created two bows. We have this one and we also have the traditional. What do you think? Which one do you want to say? Funky? Yeah, yeah, the funky. Not traditional? I mean, no. yeah, we could do oh, either or, I mean. Either or would look nice. So we're going to take our bow, wrap it around our grapevine. And then I like to bring it up towards the middle again. That's an awesome color green. Isn't it? I think it just adds kind of a nice contrast. So I'm trying to find the middle portion to tie off my bow. So these two pieces right here, make sure the flowers aren't inside. Now I'm gonna tie my bow really tight, create a couple knots to make sure it's not going anywhere. And then I'm actually just gonna snip off that wire because I don't want that showing. So we didn't add a super, you know, a lot of uh, tulips in this, but you guys could add as many or as few as you would like. If you want to see more grapevine, work in less tulips. If you want to see less grapevine, work in more tulips. The sky is the limit, you guys. Just have fun with it. That's what it all comes down to. If you're not enjoying what you're doing, don't do it. You know, if you don't want to work in a lot, don't work in a lot. You know, there's so many different variables and it's ultimately, it always comes down to what you like the most. I can sit there and tell you guys, I don't like this, I don't like that, but if you do, that's all that really matters. Now we're going to fluff this out quickly. So Bodabra has pinned the link to their Bodabra fan gallery uh, and their group actually. So check out their group just by clicking that pinned comment. And you guys will get lots of inspiration from Bodabra. Okay. There we go. Looking good. Looking good. What do you think of that, Deb? I love that color. The green ribbons. Amazing, yeah? Right? 
something different. Adds a whole new dimension. So we will fluff this. If I need more flowers, I'll work in more flowers. But I'm off. I'm gonna off kilter the bow. So whether it be like this or like this, I don't want it directly in the middle like that. Uh, but I think that turned out really pretty. Hands up if you guys like that color combo. Nick is using the Bodabra wire. Yes, the Bodabra wire. Which is this right here. It comes in 100-yard spools, and it comes in both silver and gold. So it's whatever color you want. So uh, with that being said, like I said, you guys can order from the link down below. But Amber will definitely be posting that again. And also, you guys, if you haven't commented down below yet, we're at the like four-minute mark. Uh, so Bodabra will be announcing a winner any second. So hurry up and get your comments in, letting us know that you would like a free roll. And they'll send that out if you're the lucky winner. Uh, so now we're going to just snip a wire off. So somebody asked how we did the, the knot. Are you going to so, use the small Bodabra, Nick, to make gonna one? We're going to use the snow, okay. small, small Bodabra. Uh, but see what I've done? I've just taken the wire. Fold it in half. See how we have one, yeah, one loop, op uh, one not open yeah. end, a uh, closed end, and then an open end. So we're going to take our little wand off. Let's do a simple bow. Take our wire. goes right in the slit. The bodabras look the same, but this one's just kind of like fun size. And Mini. this one's like <laughs> sharing pack. But we're going to just take it, place it inside. And now let's create a little bow. We're going to use this blue ribbon. And ribbons come in all sorts of shapes, sizes, colors, whatever you guys want. Just because I'm using blue ribbon does not mean you have to be using blue ribbon. So we're going to take it. Nelda wants to win. Kim wants to win. Awesome. Get Philip wants to win. Yeah, get those comments in. we got like two minutes. Take our ribbon ends. I just cut a length of tails. I find it easier to work in the tails before working in everything else. Take those tails. Place them into your... How cute is that mini bodega? I can't get <laughs> over that. Look at that, you guys. How cute is that? It's so cute. <laughs> if you want to make bows to go, you can put this in your pocket. That, that's a good, yeah, you, you could take it with you. I yeah. shouldn't give them that idea because I know how many people would because that's <laughs> something I would do. So what we're going to do now is create a few loops. We're going to take our tail. So our winner for tonight is Jesse Montez. So congratulations, Jesse. Uh, be sure to send a message to Bodabra uh, on their Facebook page, and they will be more than happy to send your roll of ribbon that you won tonight. So congrats. The choices are, Dad, do you remember? Red, silver. And, and gold. Yes, so let them know what color. My color would definitely be silver. Okay, we're going to do two loops like that. Congrats, Jesse. Congrats, Jesse. And then our final loop, we're just going to snip off our ribbon. So this is what I call a button loop. And I just, I don't know, I like saying the word button. So I'm going to just take it, pinch it, and place it in the middle. See how much smaller that is? Yeah, the yeah. Other two? And that's it. So if you've ever wondered how to create a bow tie... This is one of the ways. You could have also just kept the tails in with the original piece. I like to cut them ahead of time. It just makes it look a little less uh, clumpy. It looks like the tails are you know, separate, which I like the look of. Pull it out of your bodabra. So I guess this could be a hair bow, right? <laughs> I it don't could know. be. It's not too big. Yeah. I don't know. It's cute, so it could work. There we go. We've already dovetailed. We're going to pull those tails down since they're wired. Open up our little loop in the middle, and there's a simple little bow tie. How That's cute. cute. Is that? So let's do a quick recap of all of the reads we made, all of the products we've made, and I see we're at still over 533 people, 36 people. Thank you guys. Our first bow, our last bow, right? <laughs> uh, one and a half inch ribbon using our mini bodabra. I didn't use the wand. You absolutely can if you want. Uh, 542. Wow. Thank you guys for tuning in at the very final minute. Uh, but here is our wreath for the night. Doesn't matter. That which beautiful you green it. ribbon. If you want the bow in it, you can. You can do a different color. You can do burlap. The, the choice is up to you guys. Reeds are totally customizable. I really like that. And like I said, everything will be fluffed out, and pictures are always taken and sent to Bodabra. Here is our yellow traditional bow, right here. That's a nice ribbon too. Pretty right. Yep. Less loops for spring and summer. Keep that in mind. That way it doesn't look too clumpy. If this was Christmas, we'd do the same exact technique, but I'd probably do at least two more loops, two or three more loops on either side to really create that you know, big grand bow that you see at Christmas. Spring and summer, not so much. We also created probably my favorite of the night, the Valentine's Day bow or Mother's Day bow or just love in general, which I like. You could even place that on the wreath. I mean, yeah. There's so many options. And then lastly, we didn't get around to fluffing this out, but I'll fluff it real quick for you guys. Just, we only have seven loops on this one and it's not going to matter. Right? Yep. 
Very simple bow. So there's our final bow. So we created a decent amount today and a full wreath. So with that being said, I want to thank you guys so very much for watching us here on Bodabra. Uh, I want to thank Sandy, the creator, uh, for having me as a guest. And definitely check out Bodabra's fan gallery and their group uh, for more inspiration and more ideas and videos. Uh, if my teaching's not helping, they have hundreds of videos that you guys can access. So thank you guys again. I'm Nick Kretikos of Nick's Seasonal Decor. And thank you for watching me on Bodabra. Bye, everyone. Good night, everyone.